found out that the globalists are majorly made up of dropouts that don't really go through the formal education, but they have a craft that they do. And by this, they control the economies of the world. And right now, they want to be controlling everything that goes on into our body. On today's show, I'm Joke Soluari Setro. And I'm Dan Setro, the most handsome, capable, African issues, adrenaline pumping, eh? A busy husband. You, you see, we're going through all this that we're going through right now in Africa and most major parts of the world because people have been trained to go through just the normal school system, the normal school system, without having a craft. And, and these globalists are really, really very, very smart. <laughs> and when they go through the formal school system, they are being trained to operate like a final product that are assigned grade A, B, C, D. First position, second position, third position, and those that come last in class they are what they are psychologically affected to think less of themselves whereas they have god-given crafts and talent that they should be worked on that's why we on this channel just like as ambassador joy ambassador to the world that we have we've decided to make the world a better place taking africa as a case study in helping to empower our youth so that they will not be used as political destabilizers of the economy and the globalists do not succeed in africa so what do you think and that is why here we don't spend a dime on people that are going to the formal school. But when we discover that you have a particular craft, a particular interest in any and work, we come in, support you financially in terms of training. We pay for your training. And once we see that you are very, very good at that training, we'll buy you the needed machine. So that's what? You can become economically what? Independent. That is what Africa needs. And that's what major part of the world needs at this time. We, we see that these people are really controlling us because of the money, because of the dollars. They are controlling major uh, organizations, major organizations that are controlling things all over the world. And they want to control us. So we're not going to allow this. That is why there is a welcome call, a wake-up call on this channel whereby we are breeding youth. It's called the African Youth Development Strategy. If you've not heard about it, please listen. It runs this way. For you to be participating in this African Youth Development Strategy, all you need to be is a, be a poor African youth that is ready to learn one craft or the other. Once you, you're ready to learn, you reach out to us. It's brought together by the settlers and some lovely persons on this channel. Uh, they contribute at, at least... Uh, some things to us. So we'll get to know the craft you are interested in wherever you are in Africa as a youth. We'll send you what you need to do the training. We'll, we'll register you for the training, buy your needed machine. And once you are great at it, look at the strategy. Once that person is really empowered, we'll make sure that we'll bring your product to the global scene. That's the difference. We'll market you and you will now. And for you to be trained by us, you must promise us that after the training, you will have to train three African youths free of charge. That is the only way you can pay us back. We are not collecting money from you to do all this, but the way you are going to pay us back is after you have been trained, you are to train three other youths, three other African youths in that your particular craft that we have trained you, you have to train them for free. That's what is bringing us to the introduction of today. On today's show, we have a very special case of a little girl called Dokkas. When you talk of Dokkas, you talk about African value inculcated into a small or what we call a little girl. We met Dokkas hawking peanuts. And the few minutes we spent with her, we discovered that this is a brilliant little chap, well African centric cultured, well mannered, well trained, and she's so lovable that you will always feel to have her as your daughter. We just asked her a few questions. What, why are you working? What would you like to do? Why are you not in school? She said, I'd like to learn hairdressing without blinking, without thinking. That means she really had interest in learning a craft, which is hairdressing, hairstyling. And, and with that, we decided to watch, to look for one of the most fantastic, fantabulous, is it what they call pedicure, manicure salon, to train her. A very standard saloon, I tell you. We paid for our work, for our training, and presently she's currently undergoing the training. So that's just it today. You're going to be seeing the clip from now. Oh, 
please ma bear with us because uh the audio and everything is not so nice we are still working on our gadget and we believe we'll, we'll get there so just bear with us with the clip you'll be watching after now you'll see this girl tears of joy came out of her myself here tears of joy came out of me and that's just the great thing remember when we lost our baby i told her i said when my baby was to live, was being little, I said, my dear, I assure you, all I have to do so that young girls like you don't go through this. I just got to do it. And that day I was really crying from my heart. The girl was crying. She said, I was so happy. I ran. I was very fast to come when they called me. And that's it. Who are you making happy in life? Life is not all about you. That's what the globalists are doing. They are all concerned about making their own money not concerned about what is going to happen to others. So if you want the world to be a better place, you have to think less of yourself and more of others. What These five dollars that I have, can I help somebody with a cent in it? It doesn't matter how small, just help someone around you and the world will be a better place. Don't be self-centered. Without talking too much, just go through the clips and we'll come back with a cup of coffee. They have one. You can see I'm with a very beautiful lady here and a very wonderful woman, and I still have another woman. So this is the African Youth Development Strategy Program. As you can see, this wonderful lady, uh, she's just a girl of 12 years old. She's by name Bobby Paul Dockers. We just ventured into her. She was in the market selling granules, working granules, and she was a she was of pleasant character. She was of a very good character. So uh, we just dabbled into her and we said, why are you working or selling granules? What would you like to learn? She just, she did not even wait for a second or two minutes. She just said, I want to learn hairdressing. I want to learn hairdressing. And she was, she's from a very poor background. So we just said, uh-uh, there is a program helping African youth to go up the streets so that they can be great. So we decided to bring her into this program. And we got a very wonderful madam here at uh, Punto's uh, Beauty Palace. She, she, they have different prizes for these things, but she just decided to cut the prizes for us. So you can just tell us your prizes and what you did for us. Mm -hmm. The girl is going for hairdressing. Your hairdressing goes for how much, madam? For 80,000. So you're giving us for how much? After how much, please? <laughs> 25,000. And your makeup goes for how much? 60,000. And you're giving us for how much? 15,000. And the products that should be needed for the makeup and hairdressing, it goes for how much? 28,800. What you're giving us for how much? For 10,000. And everything totals 50,000. And the African Youth Development Strategy, a program put together by lovely persons on Central Road, has been able to pay her. Have you been paid, madam? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Been able to pay her. She has given us the check. Okay, I said the check. Yes, she has yes, given yes. us the receipt for that payment. So we are so, so grateful. So, so grateful to her. She's been a part of this. You see, in our palace here, they have different products. They are selling. It's, it's just like a, 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 a makeup and hairstyling academy. She's going to be spending like six months here. This girl, she's actually in second primary school. Primary school. Primary school. She's in primary school. I'm very soon she'll be talking. So she's going to be learning different things. We'll be bringing you our progress report. So we are so happy to have her. So, uh, doctors, you have the floor. What do you want to say to people? <laughs> I can. Uh, I'm just happy for Asha. At least she knows what she wants. I mean, she she's already she have already had what she wants. I mean, this is what she decided to do. So I just pray that she just put more effort to gain a lot because I'm really going to put her through to gain a lot. I wish I were Asha. Thank you so very much. Uh, you see that this. An highly emotional moment. We didn't plan it. Can you see tears coming out of my eyes? These are tears of joy. 
Also, the madam of the salon, tears were coming out of her eyes when she heard the girl. And the kind of tears that is coming out of my eyes is not coming from my eyes. It's, it's, it's a kind of tears from my heart. That's the deepest kind of tears. When you see people whose life as in would have been so better, but just because of lack of real finance, those lives were ruined. But we thank God that that's not the case. This has been on my, and she said she had to jump to come because this has been a single passion to learn hairdressing. There's millions of youths like this in Africa, but people are there taking money, wasting it, eating it, and taking it to nowhere. And youths are dying without fulfilling their passion. We want to say thank God for a day like this. We're so grateful to all that contributed to this cause. We want to thank Madam Kuto. Very God bless you, my dear. And we're so happy for her. We believe she will be of good character. I want to thank God for our mother. So that with this, we're going to be ending today's episode. You can see the girl; she's crying. All these tears are tears of joy. We are so happy, and just I want you to smile now. Don't cry. <laughs> smile and say thank you. So we are all ending on a very nice note. We want to say thank you to all the supporters of African Youth Development Strategy right here on Central Road. God bless you, mightily, for remembering the poor African youth to make sure that they fulfill their destiny. Thank you. So we'll catch you soon very much next time. In recognition of the great work that Madame Funto has done for us, before we end this vlog today, we want to just promote some of our products. You can see this uh, salon is really, really big. This is just a section. Uh, she has lots of natural products that are really helpful to the body, to your head, to everything. So she's going to be telling us some of those products. So we put a number down below so you can call her and she will get those products across to you. So she's just going to tell us some of this. I just saw a customer walking now, bought something of maybe like 5,000 cleanser. This thing, they said it's working, and I was so impressed. Okay, you can tell us some of the products you have. Yeah, this Punto Beauty Care. We're into natural things. We have like our Moroccan soap. We have blowing oil. We have lightning cream. We have super whitening. We have different things for some bone wrinkles. So many things. Then we have a section for a um, body massage, like full sauna, full facial. We are just into natural things. We do natural, everything natural. Thank you. So please, you can just call her. Our number will be right down below. You can call and she will get these things across to you. You know, everyone, the globe is going natural now. So you've seen it all. This is it. This is the little way we can help. And I know there is a way you can also help. Don't be filled with just saying Baba things. The world is this, the COVID, the, uh, uh, this virus, that virus. The question is, what have you been doing? Or what will you be doing about it? A lot of people come up and blah, 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 blah. We talk and talk and talk and talk about what ought not to be. The question is, what are you going to do about it? This is the little way the settlers can come up towards to lighten up Africa. And we know that with time, we'll be able to do much. But should you be exiting this world today, what will be on the playlist of your life that you have helped so, 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 and so that are not even your family members? Think twice. Because the best life is to what? To live a very impactful life. And that's just it. it. It's really a touchy one. So please, on this note, we want to hand, we want to have your comments. What do you feel about the girl, about the whole scenario? What do you feel about the globally? Because actually that's the main challenge the whole world is facing now because some few 1% people are just interested in their own self, their own game. They don't want to know what is happening to we all that are here. So, so that we don't be like them, uh, let's, let's have your view. What do you feel? What can you do better? How can you help? It, it might just be just a smile. And you see somebody going through, I just love you. And that has made the whole day for that person. It's, it's not only money. It's not only money. It's not only anything. Anything you have, you can give to the next person. And 
the world would be a better place. So we believe we're going to overcome all the globalists as we keep working, talking, and acting, and we're going to overcome. So we remain the sectors. We want to get you as we want to make sure that you're happy when we come in the next video. Mr. Setro, you've not done your intro. All I just need to tell you is that this is Dive Session, the most handsome, yekable, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping husband, the most romantic man in Africa that can make your life transform from the region of Mosologos to what we call Mescalebus. And this Jokes Central, we are always happy having you coming back every time to the Central Vlog family. Yeah, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Central Vlog, Facebook, Central Vlog, Twitter, and Central Vlog, and our backup channel is Central TV. So, so we'll come your way next time in our next video. We want to see you safe and sound, happy and bubbling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget that joy cures it all. It's highly medicinal. Be happy whatever you're going through. So catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. You may like to watch this video or this.